Andy Smith here from Lifestyle Tradie. I'd like to talk to everyone today about a big thing in business that, that a lot of our members and people around Australia are constantly talking about. Are you charging enough? So you're not alone in thinking this way. The amount of times that I'm talking to tradies around Australia and they really don't know if they're charging enough or not. The same old question, what are you charging? What's he charging? Joe Bloggs down the road is charging this. The tip is, what are you charging to make money? There is so many guys out there that are working really, really hard and just don't seem to be getting anywhere. You know, I've talked to a lot of husbands, wives, and they said, you know, my, my husband John works tirelessly six days a week and we just seem to make a mediocre wage. Why is that? Why do us tradies work so hard to sometimes for a little reward? And that's something I really want to talk about today because there's some guys that just keep going from step to step to step and growing their business and some guys that just can't even get off first base. So what about you? Are you a guy that's a one-man show that struggles, that doesn't make any money? Or are you a striving business with four trucks, 10 trucks on the road that's doing extremely well? Let's talk a bit about that. I think the thing to talk about with, with some of our guys that joined our program or Lifestyle Tradie, they got involved and when I started talking to them about what they were charging, I was absolutely blown away. And I could understand in a five seconds flat why they were not making any money. If you're running a husband and wife team and you're charging around that $50 mark and you're, you've still got running of your vehicles and expenses and petrol, you know, these, this, that's the sort of money that a lot of guys were charging 10 years ago and some guys are still sticking down that path. Now I know different trade businesses are different. You can get painters for as little as $35 and then you can get builders for around $65 and lower. And then obviously some plumbers are $100, $150 and even more. So what is the right price for you and your industry? Well, I can't rattle off every industry standing here right now and that's why what we do every year is a competitor analysis. Now, I'm not talking about quoting jobs or, or doing flat rate, which we'll talk about a bit later. It's a do and charge rate. Do you do do and charge still and what do you charge? Now, after our competitor analysis, we get a really good understanding of what the market is doing. And it gives us the opportunity to say, are we middle range, are we low range or are we high range? But then it comes down to a lot of other things like service what you offer the customer. So, you know, I'm not here to tell you if you're charging enough or you're not charging enough. That comes down to you. But all I can say is I've turned countless businesses around just by putting their rates up by as little as $10 a job. And what people forget, just say you're doing five jobs a day and you make an extra $10 per job, that's $50, that's $50 a day, that's $250 a week say over 50 weeks or 52 weeks, it's almost $13,000. Now that's pure profit into your business. So as you can see, you don't have to adjust too much to make a lot more money. So what are you charging? You know, I challenge all you guys out there to look at your rates, to look at your competitors' rates and see if you're low, medium or high. You know, there's some guys out there that like to undercut the market and they think they're quite clever of undercutting the market and getting more customers. That only works to a point. You need to find a business that is sustainable for the long term. And what I've seen over all the years of doing business is the guys that offer a good service at a premium rate are the guys that seem to have money to market. They seem to have money to buy new trucks. They seem to have money to go on holidays. They seem to have money to build a better business. Something to think about guys, I'd love it if this, you could share this with your friends out there, like us on Facebook, make a comment below. Let me know what do you think's an average good rate out there for tradies. We'll talk to you soon.